Okay, we're all going to start, and people miss the show, they miss the show. We're here to say goodbye to Mark, and he did not get to write the entertainment today, and he's very disappointed, but he, there's no way we were going to let him know writing his own show. I think everybody... I would have been more brutal. I know. We, uh, we're all going to miss you, Mark, except for the people down in accounting. So, to everybody... <laughs> Everybody else out there, somebody else has to keep up the Mark tradition of waiting at least nine months to turn in expense accounts. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> I just have a baby. I was, I was just upholding a tradition that being fully started. Well, that's good. So, but actually, I was surprised the last time we all got chewed out, we editors, because people were turning their expense accounts late, and they gave some long list of somebody that had a phenomenal amount of time. It wasn't you, and I was shocked. <laughs> okay, I'm so used to being the one. He filed under a different name. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mark, I don't want to wait too much longer for the show to start, so... Journal. 
and the power struggle to succeed him. I was actually quite moved when the white puff of smoke came out of Jan Leach's office. <laughs> <laughs> testing his would-be successors. Name Spike Lee's three best movies. Anyone. Dyer. Klosterman. No answers at all. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Down the hole, I give this movie a big thumbs up. It was really good in portraying Mark's relationships. I give it a thumb up, too, because I think young people will think it's really groovy. <laughs> oh, well, gee, I guess we agree about Dwidziak. And you know what else we agree about? Yes. His leaving gets two thumbs down. <laughs>
Miss Metzger's and Mrs. Reilly's first grade class for the wonderful pageant they put on. <laughs> <laughs> Gave it a lot of thought this year, and they came up with some nice ideas. <laughs> we also want to thank the ladies' auxiliary for the wonderful <laughs> You didn't really expect me to be too serious, did you? Uh, you'll be very glad now I haven't prepared a thing. And uh, so I just really want to say that uh, the memories I'm going to take with me from 15 years at the Beacon Journal are really in this room and have been in this room over the years. Uh, it's not going to be any columns that I've written or any words that I've written or any awards or anything like that. It's going to be the people that make the newspaper. And uh, that's the very special stuff that I'm going to take with me because uh, in the future, when anybody asks me for definitions of loyalty or uh, commitment, I'm going to tell them about my years at the Beacon Journal and being in the trenches with all of you. Uh, that was the special times. And uh, don't kid yourself, these are the good old days. Uh, I ain't very good at giving advice. Ain't very good at giving advice. But I'll just let it leave it with one thought, or maybe two. One is that uh, if you're not having fun at what you're doing, you're doing something wrong. I've had a blast for 15 years. It has been a fabulous 15 years, a much better 15 years than I had any right to expect. Um, and I can only hope that the next 15 will be as much fun as this 15 were. And the other thing is that it, probably, considering the surroundings and where we are, that it never hurts to remind ourselves on a pretty regular basis that this is John Knight's newspaper and to remember what John Knight stood for and how he built this paper. For those of you who don't know who John Knight is, go find somebody who does and uh, learn, because it's well worth it. Thanks for 15 years. And I'm not moving to Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> for the guild members in the room, I'm still even a member of the same local. The phone number is not changing, so I'm here, and I'm not just a phone call away. And since I have maintained close friendships with a lot of people at the Play Dealer for the last 15 years, I assume I can just work it in reverse and maintain close friendships with everybody. You're all, you're all welcome over to my house. No. <laughs> Thanks again. Okay.